Hello? No, I... Just send me the address by text, please, sir. Hi, Lovejoy. Yes, Amy. I've been good. Hi, Pa. Yes, this is her. Hi, Tabi. Any Maya? Lovejoy. Hi. Hi, Lovejoy. I love to it. I love to So I'm in my home office, um, as you can hear I'm also building at my house, so it's quite chaotic at the moment, running three building sites. In the mornings I typically do a bunch of admin, it's Wednesday morning, so I've just uploaded the process, uh, uh, the, the, the um, weekly vlog episode. Yeah, so I just finished running through my emails, uh, there's still two small pieces of admin I quickly have to get done. Um, I have to send an electrical bill to one of our uh, tenants and a few little things like that. Um, make sure this building site is okay, make sure the other two building sites are okay. And then I, am, I have to go to Joburg, I've got a client consultation today. I've got to pick out tiles for Albert Adamson House. And we have to do a few finishing touches at the Eleanor Suites. So this is a really full day. And I'm going to show, take you guys along on Day in the Life of. Hello. Hi. Yes. We have to speak English, we're filming. Okay. <laughs> I just want to know, when are you coming to Albert Adams? Because we have to put up the... There? What do you call it? We have to cast the front door and uh, by the pool. Are we doing it now? No, I just want to set up the layout for them. Uh, okay, so they can do it like tomorrow or, or sometime. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Dupi, let's do this later this afternoon. For now, I want to meet you at um, Elanor quickly with those other two guys, with Brian and Never, to set out those. Um, so Brian isn't there? Brian is there, but uh, Never needs to go there. Okay, I'm getting him now. Okay, pick him up, meet me at Eleanor um, in about 30 minutes, 9.45. Okay, cool. Okay, you can show them in the meanwhile what to do. Make sure we've got the paint that we need. We need that other, um, that new paint, uh, the, the white uh, roof paint, the paver, black paint as well, and we need some primer for AC's back wall. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, thanks. Bye. As I said to you guys, I am also building at my house. So literally running three, four-ish sites at the moment. This is my house's master bedroom. It used to be a flat and we are now converting it back into a master bedroom. So what we, what we did is we had drywall over here and there on both sides of the door. So we're opening it up and then this will be the bedroom section. All cupboards in here. I'll, I'll show you guys some renders. I still have renders on my phone before Dupi's laptop died. Um, over, over here we'll have a, a big single vanity, a freestanding bath over here with like a, uh, a feature light hanging down. And then I think it will be quite dark but we'll, uh, in here, but we have a shower behind and a toilet behind a little wall um, on this side. And then in the process of renovating bathrooms and all of that, we'll just, we, we're just planning to redo our bathrooms on our house as well. All the bricks need to be painted white for parking spaces. Wi-Fi needs to be set up. Um, this wall and on JC's side, JC's side needs to be first primed. Plus the primer is perfect for that first. Um, at worst, if we run out of that, let's just use um, white roof paint. Get some white roof paint from one of the sites for these bricks. Okay, but primer first on that side. Maybe it's a good idea to do it now. Okay. Because he is here. 
I've just sent you his details. If if we need access, um, it's easy, and then that primer can dry, and then we can also paint his wall black on his side. Okay. Uh, neighbor wall patch that we've spoken about, Wi-Fi we've spoken about. Unit 5 wood filling. Oh, that we will we'll do a bit later. Um, two gates fill up we'll do a bit later. Large wall mural we'll do later. Front gravel we'll do later. Parking spaces layout. You need to also just think about. Maybe we'll do it this afternoon later this afternoon. Gate motor bracket, Martinez needs to come. Is the gate closing now or not? Yeah, but it's like dodgy. Uh, okay, so we need to just fix that thing. I'll try to get them out here today because they need to do a like, camera as well, move a camera and if we have internet they can do the other stuff for us as well. And they need, when they are here, they need to put this bracket on as well. Okay. okay? Um, laundry top, washing line you can also sort. So, at Union Tiles, they manufacture a thing, it's called terrazzo, it looks like this. Um, it's a concrete mix with small pieces of, um, of stone and glass and random other aggregates in it. And it's a full-on concrete tile, so it looks the same, right, all the way through. Um, in my house, I've got a lot of them. So, uh, we're looking for some more. And then the second part is, what I do is I buy B-grade stock. So they typically have little chips like that in the, in the tile um, or, or it is imperfect in whichever way. So for instance, if you come and have a look here, you'll see there's a bit of a color variation. So the cool thing with the rutter is you can sand it. So you sand those types of color variations into a normality again. In my opinion, we use them. They're not perfect, but I feel like the stone look is okay to not have a perfect, perfectly finished tile. So that's a big part of what Union Tile does and they have been doing it for a very long time. Um, I think like 30 years or 50 years or something. Here's one where you can see a different pattern but it's typically a good example of, of, of what they look like and, and so on. These are the ones you referred to yesterday, ne? These ones, are they new? Yeah, this one is only is a Dalton one. That's fine. Yeah. So we can take that. The difference is only the size of the stone, right? Yes. Yeah, so I will mix and ma match them to make okay. it work. Okay. But so we'll take that, that, that. These, what are they? Are they new B grade or? Uh, okay, so they're not white. Yes. Okay. These ones? This one's uh, like uh, G because there is a plus. Okay, yes. I think same thing, I can make it work as well, like yeah. in between, because it's similar, right? Yes. You can work out weight for me, eh? Because maybe I'll somehow load it on my bucky now, because if I leave it, what it gets sold. I lux. I'll buy this, take it. Okay. And then, so, yes, yes. Uh, and okay. the, then okay. we'll check whether it's A grade, whether it's a few 600s, what it is. Okay, let's so. just check, so it's, I just want to see if we're coming close. 14 plus 17 yeah. plus 11. Okay. 42 times 0.8 times 0.8, 26. We're getting closer. Yeah. Okay. But let's check. Uh, let me take this. I'm going to come and load it now and everything. Just offload and put it here. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we move it back. This is my dog. He's got a bit more energy than LaRue's one. Um, come. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Anyways.
Go! <laughs> Hello, Eddie. Good day. Thank you, Donkey. I've got uh, another customer that came and bought those towels are gone. Uh. Huh? I can offer Henny these towels. You can offer him. Yeah, they didn't uh, answer the calls earlier, but they were looking for this one. That but one. you see, it's 157 boxes that are left. And how much is that one? The one 180 squares. Mm -hmm. So that should be enough. Yeah. It's that one. Yeah. Where's the other specials? It's this. Mm -hmm. One. Is that here? One. Mm -hmm. But cheaper, cheaper, new cheaper. One, new one. <laughs> Three, four. Mm -hmm. That's the rough one. Five, nice. six, seven, eight, yeah. nine, ten. I can't get it. No yeah, I can't get it. No cost. We need uh, 140 squares without uh, cuttings. Our other side, you're going to need stuff yeah. this week. Yeah. Oh, oh, we'll get to it. We just need the tiles in the ground. Uh, and the, and the uh, uh, stuff now. Yeah. Okay. okay. Don't give. Plug it up. At Albert Adams Street. Yes. We are currently mid-project. Mm -hmm. We are not not totally done with demolition. We maybe or two, three weeks behind Lafinia. Yes, and a bit more because the renovation is more extensive. And that one began, a lot began quicker, and this is a lot. This, this is, is almost double. double. It is double. It is the double. Size. So what we are busy with here, I can quickly explain and to it you. Was we, worse. we are busy <laughs> with plumbing, everything mm -hmm. internal. And the physical walls. So a lot we're of boring with stuff, right? Plumbing, building walls, floor fixes, plastering the walls, floor stuff, fixes, stuff that you don't see afterwards. Nobody, yeah. nobody walks in here and say, "Oh, I love the way you fixed the floor that was cracked." Yes. You know, so a lot of stuff like that. They don't even say, "Oh, I love the plug you have behind the fridge." You know, nobody sees these types of things, but they're very crucial. They're probably more crucial yes. than the tiles or the any of that you know no, the, these are all structural fixes that we need to do to ensure that the new owner of this house doesn't have problem after five years yes so we're putting reinforcing into the slabs all the cracks we're opening up redoing them where there wasn't lentils which caused cracks we put in some lentils. it's such a stupid thing construction guys and builder owners do right they save what does that lintel cost? A hundred bucks? They don't even save because they're putting in bricks Something and else. the same. This is a hundred bucks to, put, to buy. And then they don't do it and then you have these cracks. It's so stupid but people do it every day. We see it quite a lot. Um, so so we, we're working below the surface, inside the walls. Mm -hmm. Then we're closing all of that up. So okay. in the next week we're going to be closing up all of this. So concrete We're going patches. to be plastering. Plaster, a lot the of electrical plaster, is yeah. currently busy, the plumbing is currently busy on the bathrooms. That will be still busy for the next two weeks. Okay. Um, Again, in the, in the next week here, um, our carpenter will be coming this side. There's a lot of ceiling patches. Ceiling and roof structural things that needs to be exterior done. Exterior as well. Exterior in and interior. Yeah. So we'll be doing, uh, we won't be closing it up yet because there's yes. still a lot of wiring and piping going into the roof. Mm -hmm. But uh, after that, we'll be closing the ceilings. All the fascias around the outside will come off. We'll be joining up the purlins and the, the roof the sheetings. That, is, roof, a, that yeah. is a problem. And all the trusses that needs to be extended, okay. needs to be fixed. We'll be doing all that, those type of things this week uh, when our carpenter is here. What are your um, thoughts on the pool? Do you think it's time to make a decision now on the pool? Is it very a, a soon, week or two? Very soon. Okay. Um, You've seen those costs that I've seen to you. I've seen the costing. I'll just run it past the, uh, the pool guy who costed us on it and, and we'll see what we can get from the sponsor. <laughs> but essentially we'll, we'll have a wall in the middle, of in the the middle which would square it off. And if, 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 if that price difference, because it's like I think 17 and 23 or something like that, 
that's the difference, I think it's worth it. Mm. Um, it will be that plus a bit of bricks and, and, and labor from our guys, but I don't think it's excessive. Yeah. What no, do you it's, think? It's, a lot it's of 10, thousand rand more. Yeah, no, it's probably 10,000 rand in more, material, but I don't think material and labor. Yeah. I don't and think 10,000 is too much. It's, yeah. But it You will think be it's about 10 and then another 5 more um, that it's more expensive for him to do that new yeah. wall and whatever. No, so an additional it. 15 makes this pool square not rounded. Yeah. If that's the case it doesn't feel bad in my opinion. Oh. Uh, it's something yeah, you know, I would suggest you do. A lot of things happening at Lavinia Street. We are at finishing stages, uh, which means all the top coats of everything, the, yes. the outside landscaping. And, and you're not here next coats. week, so I'm not here the me next and Dupi will have to run the site. Nothing difficult, here. we just need to make decisions. <laughs> Nothing difficult, just No, finishing. we need to make the decisions. Yeah. They know what to Calls do. Calls on, on certain yeah, things. So yes. we need to show them what to do and then they can go ahead with that. Good. We need to be doing the next layout of the curbing the other curbing that needs to be done. Yes. Um, I don't know if you would agree with me, but I think we have lawn and we have garden. Yes. And I think we need to do a division as well. Yep. And that division needs to be laid out. Do you think that division is just the house's side of the tree? Well, on that corner going towards the border wall? Well, I, I've taken the liberty of drawing <laughs> up a bit of a plan. Okay. So I, this is what we basically have. Um, with the curbing going around here, another curbing going mm -hmm. around there. Currently. Here's the house, yep. here's where we're going to fit the carport. So that's what we currently have, there's the tree. Mm -hmm. So this is what I suggest. I don't know if you've seen that drawing of Dupi where, where he did that with, with a bit of a, a piece okay. of the garden coming is, a bit What is forward. the reason for the sharp corner? It's design. Okay. That's cool. all that it is. It doesn't have I, to be. I but haven't I mean, seen it. but. My initial thought was just a straight line. I'll have a look at Dupi's drawing. If it's nice, then we'll just do that. But the fact is, let's do all of that and maybe that. Okay, but... Or um, straight through. Okay. Are, are you happy with that, more or less? I'm happy Parallel with that, with the, but that with means... The, with the house. That means you're going to have to come and lay this Make out. Make a call with this and, and do that line. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Interior, lighting layout, do we need to do that now? Yes. Okay. Are we doing small downloads, big downloads? What do you think? We have the options LEDs. of doing LED downlights, mm -hmm. spotlights, bigger downlights than I, just I that think, three or four. I think a couple of LEDs. I would, if, if I were to do this, I would, I would go with four smaller ones and four smaller ones. And I would separate them okay. to have the ability to have separate spaces if you would want. Okay. So when you say four, you mean one, two, three, four? Yes. Five, six, seven, eight? Yes. Um, it doesn't make a massive difference yeah, in my it opinion. it doesn't really. I'm okay with that as well. I think it would look impressive with, with lights a lot of down. Light. Cool, I'm happy with that. So where do we draw the middle? Is it here? I maybe, think maybe that pillar. Yes, on the middle of that pillar. So, so, so middle the, with that yeah. the window. So basically. one, two, three, four centered on this square. One, two, three, four cent. Yeah, but well, the lines are going to be picking up. Yes. Happy. So let's do the first ones. I think then one, two by the front door. Okay. That would look cool, I think, if you come in. And that could then line up again on that side. Yes. Even we if can it's do like that. here. We can do one, that. One, two, three, four, yes. five, six. But okay, but that's a separate four. But so yeah. we've got a four here. One, two. And then a three, four somewhere around here. Okay. And then, yeah, five, five, six, seven, eight, somewhere here. Let me give you the dilemma. Yeah. Taking out these walls. Yeah, left we, us without walls for switches. Yeah, and we slipped on that. We didn't put in another switch. Okay, so we'll need to chase a switch. We're going to chase a okay. switch. So it's not horrible. It's a small problem. It's not terrible, but we don't want to be chasing at this no. stage. We've painted. <laughs> okay. So, so this one can stay. Yeah. Let's for this room. Let, let's speak about what it will do. We 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 spoke about putting down lights on this outside ceiling. Yes. So we'll still be doing that. Mm -hmm. 
and I think that will be connected to the outside light. Yes. So that's one switch. One switch. All right. Then we have two, two three. Three. That's all on three here. Lever switch three lever switch. Three lever switch. Cool. Okay. Then this is another room. We need one switch, two, three. Okay. But can we chase just once into this wall? Yeah, but, but let me tell you, that's three. Outside light, four. Four is fine. I don't think we're going to get the switches that we buy in a four we lever. We just have to do two switches then. We can do two, uh, two switches two. next yeah. to each other. There we have a switch for the scullery and the outside light. Happy with so that. So that's two and then we'll have two, two, yeah. yeah. The bedrooms two, and the bathrooms are sorted. They yeah. have the Maybe if they chase as well, they can chase on the back side of this wall and, and just drill through. it through. Yeah. That it's a bit it less easier, yes. breaking this wall, that's yeah. already good. So we'll have, on the one plug, we'll have this light and an outside light. On the other plug, uh, other switch, we'll have feature, feature, and, feature kitchen. and kitchen. Yeah. Happy. So it's Friday, the Rue is in Umschlange. So I decided to pop in at Gareth at the Levels house. They've moved in two weeks ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And he offered me a Biffelsfontein. So this afternoon we're drinking Biffelsfontein. Cheers on Big Cheers. Pond Beer Fridays. Um, we are here to have a look at a few snags and just run through. What we normally do is once the people have moved into a property, like two, three weeks down the line, uh, we come by and just have a look. Normally we don't have beer and snacks. They prepared a bunch of snacks for us. It's better than most restaurants we go to on, on, on Friday afternoon. So it's all good here and nice to be here with you guys. Um, so this week uh, was quite busy. You saw a full day in my life uh, as Leroux was away, quite hectic schedule that I was running three or four sites, busy renovating at my own house, the two other properties and finishing some stuff up at Elanor. Um, yo, we're going to quickly run through a bunch of snacks. What I was saying is uh, two weeks afterwards, uh, we come through and just make sure everything is working fix a leaking toilet if there is one, fix a shower not opening, a, uh, leaks, anything like that, lights and that type of things mm. not switching on and off. And the idea is uh, that nobody has lived in the property. So um, eventually uh, we give them two weeks to stay here and figure out if there are any snags and then we come and just fix those like next week or so. So that's the end of week six, Marcel. Yes. We're at end of week six. And this is Big Pond Beer Fridays. It's already three o'clock, four o'clock almost. <laughs> We're running around a bit crazy. Next week will be a bit lighter because Larry will be back and I can work a bit less again and my shoes can stay a bit cleaner because I don't <laughs> have to be on sites. <laughs> Anyways, cheers. Week five. Cheers, Amy. Week six. Cheers. Week six. <laughs>